Good morning, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. It's uh, Ian Paul here with another F1 2020 My Team Career Mode video, episode number 12. Today for the Austrian Grand Prix here in season number one. Oh, boy. I, I don't want to talk about France, so we're not going to dwell on it uh, too much. A card will appear in the corner if uh, you want uh, You want to go view it. Not, uh, not the most pleasant of races uh, for us, but uh, going through everything, you can see that... Uh, Teams coming along nicely. We have a couple of major uh, upgrades uh, on the go. You always love a, a good major upgrade, don't you? But uh, we're going to switch it back to some of the older stuff. We did take um, new stuff uh, for France. Well, at the back of the grid. Why wouldn't you? Why? Why? Someone will uh, explain to me why you uh, why you wouldn't uh, do that. Because yeah, why, why wouldn't you do that? It's just, uh, it makes uh, absolute common sense. Absolute common sense. So let's look at uh, the construct Championship. I mean, Lewis Hamilton leads away from Valtteri Bottas, Max Verstappen, Sebastian Vettel, Charles Leclerc, Jackie there in P6, uh, followed by Alexander Albon, who's our, uh, who's our new rival. Uh, Carlos Sainz, Lance Stroll, Sergio Perez, your top ten. Constructors, Mercedes running away with it, followed by Ferrari, Red Bull, McLaren, Racing Point. There's Chase Liner, P6, Renault, Alfa Romeo, Alfa Tauri, Williams and Haas. With Roman Grosjean, Tatiana Calderon and George Russell still yet to score. So we're going to advance it. Oh boy. Failure. Could have done with that going into Austria. Honestly, I've had enough of uh, some of these guys. We can't even... Uh, oh, we can uh, develop it. But when will it be ready for? That's that's the big question. Will it be ready for the British Grand Prix? Or will it be ready for the Hungarian Grand Prix? The Grand Prix we really don't uh, want it to be ready for. Honestly, they, they've got to pick their... Uh, they've got to pick their game up uh, down in... Uh, Down in the development of Wise, so uh, yeah. We'd be in a whole heap of trouble, folks. And I mean a whole heap of trouble. So that being said, we're going to get practiced. We're going to get qualified. And we will see you on the start line for the Austrian Grand Prix. Where hopefully we won't suck as bad as we did at the French Grand Prix. See you in a bit, folks. Good afternoon and welcome to Spielberg and to a circuit that in one form or another has held every Austrian Grand Prix of the championship except the very first back in 1964. It was at this race that John Watson lost a bet and his beard when he took Team Penske's only F1 victory in 1976. If anything, the stakes are even higher today with 25 points available for victory and a crucial advantage in the championship fight. It's one of the shortest laps on the calendar today then with seven rights and just three lefts, making up the 10 corners of this high-speed circuit. Turn two is barely a corner at all. They'll be flat out through there, a left-hand kink into the uphill braking zone of turn three. Turns one, three and four are all potential opportunities to overtake. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Midas completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Bottas, Sebastian Vettel and Verstappen, Albon, Raikkonen, Perez and Kevin Magnussen, Ricardo, Stroll, Carlos Sainz and Ocon, Norris, Gasly, George Russell and Daniel Kvyat. Grosjean, Calderon, Latifi and Antonio Giovinazzi starts from the back of the grid. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can yeah, prevail so Here we today. go again then, folks. It's P2 on the grid and Jackie found the setup. She hooked up an absolute lap to start with. And then uh, Lewis Hamilton came along and tryharded her and uh, took ball position off her. It looked like she was going to get pole for a long time, and then Lewis Hamilton just comes along, gives her the try-hard uh, moment. One stop uh, for us today. 
going from the softs onto the mediums. I did try. We did try a uh, qualify on the mediums, but it wasn't happening. Not not yet, anyway. Uh, so uh, we're going to start. Uh, we're going to start on these uh, soft tyres and then go to the mediums. But hopefully we can uh, we can have a race with Hamilton today. If not, uh, we got some Ferraris to keep us company. See how Jackie and uh, Tatiana do, folks. It's lights out, away we go. Jackie's got a blinder, folks. She's got a blinder. She's got him. Will she get him into turn number one? Oh, oh, oh she's got a break in very wrong there, and she's uh, off the track, and she's now back into P2. She, she's uh, lucky. She's uh, only just back into P2. It's not. Uh, it's not worse than that. She could be a lot worse than that as you go into uh, turn number three. They have to call it turn three because that little kink is turn two. Keep the motorbike fans happy, pricks. <coughs> oh dear me. Down the back straight, heading towards turn four. I don't know why they call that little kink there turn four. They really should. The two Ferraris are side by side, heading uh, down the hill. And now towards that famous Red Bull statue and the Max Verstappen grandstand into turn five. And then through what will be last well, last turn part six there his turn seven and eight new new yeah and now down this uh, long kink towards uh, turn nine and ten and this this is a chance i'm gonna oh that car is always oh, a bit wide there you have to uh, cut that out you get to uh, warning for track limits and you don't want a warning for track limits uh, girl that's uh, really sort we don't uh, want to go to the battle for P14. Lando Norris is not going to be stuck behind uh, George Russell like he was at Azerbaijan for far too bloody long. And he's going to be up in a P14 round the outside. That always works. And in this case, it does work as he moves up uh, the field. But we're going to go further into the lap now. Here's Jackie trying to defend with all her might from Charles Leclerc. They're side by side into turn nine. That's not going to work, Charles. That's not going to work. You're going to have to uh, get up a day later and double short again. Jackie, you... Jackie, you've got to keep off the sides of the track, girl. Track limits. Speaking of track limits, it looks like uh, as we move on to lap number four here, Kevin Manson's uh, just been passed by Sergio Perez into turn one. That was uh, cool and easy as you like. Also, uh, going into turn one, you've got uh, George Russell has now been passed by Danny Kvyat. And uh, around the outside will go the Russian. And uh, up into P15, he goes... Now, here's a fight that uh, has been brewing, because uh, Alex Albon's uh, now Jackie's rival. He's about to pass Max Verstappen here for P6. So he's flying. Don't get me wrong, he's flying. But he's not flying that much. Speaking of flying, I think the two Pink Panthers are about to have a tussle here. They've just passed Kevin Magnussen, and Stroll has just strolled past Perez here, but no Perez, he's coming back around the outside of turn three. Who's got DRS? It looks like Stroll had DRS there for a moment. Uh, what will Leclerc do? What, oh, what is Charles Leclerc going to do? We haven't a clue what Leclerc's going to do, but he's going to dive it down the inside. And thank you very much, uh, Jackie said. She'll stay P2, but for how much longer to move on to lap number five? And you see Bottas is uh, challenging uh, Sebastian Vettel right behind him for P4. Uh, uh, Bottas is actually just done. Uh, Vettel, he's about to do Leclerc, and that Mercedes powertrain is really shining through here at the Red Bull Ring. It's going to go up into... Oh, that is such a good corner from Bottas. He should have P3 going down the back straight, but uh, Leclerc has the DRS. It'll be Leclerc's DRS against Bottas's sheer power. I think Bottas is going to win and move into P3, mugging off both of the Ferraris. You love to see that kind of stuff there as we move on to lap number six here of the Austrian Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton's only 2.2 seconds in front of us, folks. That's not far uh, at all if you actually think about it. But what isn't far is this fight here between Kevin Magnussen and uh, Danny Kvyat. That's P14, folks. It's not too far away until... Oh, that was good. I think Magnussen just uh, lost it on the break in there. But uh, see, see the tire in the corner? She's starting to reel him in, folks. The rod is out. She's here on the Jules. Oh, God almighty. I tell you what, she's, she is pushing her luck with track limits. She needs to cut that out as uh, Ocon has really been struggling here. He's uh, in P18. So P19 is about to pass. Uh, well, he's got past the P18. I do apologise. 
That's uh, Kimmy, uh, Tony Giovinazzi up at the PAT. I do apologize. As uh, Matt, Kev Maggs and Roman Grosjean and the Hassi start fighting each other. What's the betting that one of them will have brake issues? That's right, I just said that. So Grosjean up at a P15 as Ocon is now under attack from the man Gasly. Uh, for P19, and I think the man Gasly is it gonna go around the outside. He is. But I tell you what, I think they've uh, bettered that curb on the inside of turn three. Gonna do the right bumpy old curb. Uh, last time I checked it, and I do mean a right bumpy old curb, folks. And uh, with Jackie's, Jackie's gonna pit early. She's gonna try and undercut Hamilton here. I like this strategy. I like this strategy a lot. This is her call, by the way. It's not my call. This is her call. She wants to come in and she wants to get uh, tire sorted. We're looking at the Mercedes uh, pit box there for some reason. Why? Why is that? Uh, I think. I mean, don't. It's hilarious. Don't get me wrong. But uh, why is that? I think. So she's gonna come out behind. That looks like Esteban Ocon here on lap eight. She's got to get past Ocon pretty darn quickly. And she is. Look. Look at the speed. The speed, folks. The speed is incredible. As uh, we come to the end of lap number eight, uh, she's run wide again. She, I tell you, what, she's really pushing her luck with track limits. Daddy Kvyat is giving the next uh, person up. So Pierre Gasly, she's oh, she's flung it up the inside. He left the door open. He left the door open, and she uh, wanted to come through. That's Joe Nazi in front trying to get past the Williams up there. I think uh, I think he has got past the Williams actually. I think the Williams is going to have to let Jackie through. That's uh, George Russell. He's been pushed out of the way practically. Jackie is in no mood to play. She can sense a victory here and I don't blame her. She can sense a victory here at the Red Bull ring. And this would be a legit victory on pace. Not like the bollocks we had at uh, Spain. Some people uh, are going to be bitching at spades. Here's Hamilton. Now, where are you going to come out, Lewis? Where, oh, where are you going to come out? It's going to be interesting to see where he comes. Oh, he's been held up there by one of the Red Bulls and one of the Ferraris. Oh, it's going to be interesting. Now, where's Jackie? I'm trying to look down the pit box here. Where Jackie is? I think she's coming out the turn last corner now. So, come on. Where is she? She's somewhere. Is that her? There she is. Come on. Oh, now we've got a race. Come on then. This is for the race lead, de facto. Yep. Come on, Lewis. We're there. We're, yeah, come on then. Oh, he's, oh I tell you, there may have been contact there on the side there. Lewis tried to uh, do what Bottas did in Canada. We ain't pulling up with that crap again. We made this uh, car out of a tank. A tank, I tell you! It's a sheer tank! Which, uh, which you absolutely love to see. Now, meanwhile, while that was going on, look at this fight here. There's uh, one of the Red Bulls come out of the pit there. That's uh, It's a Honda battle here between Gasly, Albon and Verstappen. All over P8. It looks like Verstappen's in the lead and uh, Gasly and Albon, who basically swapped seats last season. They... Uh, yeah, <laughs> that, we're not going to talk about that. Well, if you're Pierre Gasly, we're not going to talk about that. But if you're Alex Albon, we don't mind talking about that. Although he's uh, been very unlucky on a couple of occasions. Speaking of very unlucky, it looks like Perez has got um, Nicholas Latifi in front of him. And Hollywood Lance Stroll is not too far behind them. So that could be an interesting uh, fight to see what goes on there. There goes Perez past Latifi. Will Stroll attempt to come past Latifi for P13? We'll uh, have a wait see. He's looking to the outside. He's having a go on the uh, Canadian. Is uh, it's Canadian on Canadian violence? I think this is the first season we've had two Canadians in a F1 season. We'll have to check that one out as uh, we go back to the front of the field here. Green flags are flying. They want oh, the Claire's out. The Claire is out. That is that is not what we want. Oh, that is definitely not what we wanted to see. That is 100% not what we wanted to see, folks. So here we go, the restart on lap 14 to start lap 15. And I tell you what, this is going to be... It's going to be laps of constant pressure coming up here. 
You decide when, Jackie. When the goes in, then go. That's it. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Right, go. Go, 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 go. That's wide. You, you don't want to be doing that too often. Lewis Hamilton will uh, will fight you if you do that. Green's on the air on lap 15. And there she goes into turn one and she is safe for now. But uh, on lap 17, she's coming around. She's put up with laps of pressure, folks. And she's, she's coped with it beautifully. Absolutely beautifully. As Danny Ricardo and Alex Albon fight for P6. Ricardo's had a great drive. He deserves uh, something here, but I think Albon's going to get P6 off him. And indeed he does round the outside. He goes, but look at this. The pressure is coming. It's coming. Go away. Go. Everyone tell him, go away. Shoot. Shoot. Try hard. That's what you are. Jackie will just outbreak him into turn three. Yes, thank you. There you go. Get back into the clutches of Valtteri Bottas, if you don't mind. As we go to Carlos Sainz, and uh, he's right on the back of Danny Ricciardo. He's right past Danny Ricciardo. If he does a solid here, he could get Albon, but he's not going to do that uh, solid for us. As uh, Roman Grosjean and Kevin Magnussen start fighting over P14. Oh, that's uh, Magnussen past his uh, teammate there. But come on, let's hear it for Tatiana, folks. She's, she's put up a great effort today. P21. She's got a contract extension coming up. And she's into P20. Hey, Tatiana passes someone. But guys... Oh my god, it has happened again! But this time on true pace! Yes! Get in! You beautiful thing! Absolutely beautiful! Carlos Sainz, driver of the day. Oh, you love to see it, girl. Fantastic team effort to secure victory here in the Styrian Alps. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? It was a question of right place, right time today. We were looking at an entirely different race before the safety car came out, but they were able to take full advantage after the field had been bunched up. Here comes your top three making... Oh, uh, that's it, girl. Yeah, show them dance moves. Show Lewis how it's done. <laughs> white, white girls can dance. I think they can anyway. Pop that champagne. And uh, you you all know what that means when uh, Jackie gets to stand on the top step and pop that champagne, don't you? Oh. Cue Chris Jericho. Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. Now let's take a look at the driver's standing. It's a great result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? Carlos Sainz certainly wasn't someone to scoff about. His ability to follow race strategies throughout with pinpoint precision has to be commended. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Meanwhile, good work from the owner drivers' team this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One. P1, baby. P1, you love to see it. Oh, that is fantastic. By the way, I don't know if you saw this. I've been working with a, with a hand injury. Oh, look at that. That, is, uh, that was my cat as I tried to open the door. That was nice of him. Jackie Levine wins the, the Austrian Grand Prix from Lewis Hamilton, Valtteri Bottas, Seb Vettel, Max Verstappen, Alex Albon, Carlos Sainz, driver of the day, P7. Danny Ricciardo, Kimi Räikkönen, Sergio Perez, your top 10. Uh, Tatiana finishes P20. Well, that's where you started. And uh, one DNF. <sighs> Charles Leclerc. But my God, we have got to stop winning these races. <laughs> we have got to stop. Uh, and it's our home Grand Prix next. What a race to send the momentum into. Let's go. <sighs> that was an exciting race from our perspective. Let's have yours. Oh, you can have mine absolutely, Claire. How are you feeling after How is Jackie feeling after a second victory, and this time a legit victory on pace? She is absolutely delighted. The team are absolutely delighted. The engine was on point. What can we say? The engine just kept giving and giving and giving, but uh, the aero as well. The aero. You're breaking all expectations. Oh, we'd, we'd love to tell you what Jackie's secret is. It's just about having the team and the car to get the results.
things are looking up after last week. After last week, they're absolutely looking up. We were an absolute shed at uh, Paul Ricard, but here we come here and we're absolutely brilliant. A few shaggy tweaks and we're loving it. It wasn't the cleanest race today, was it? Not sure who we hit. Did, did you see us hit anyone? No, well, we're an idiot magnet today. Great. Well, that's okay. Thank you, Claire. And uh, yeah, what a great start to the rivalry, folks. What a fantastic start to the rivalry. Jackie already ahead of Alex Albon. Alex, you're going to be beaten by a woman. And we're going to get level 10 and we're going to get a brand new sponsor on this car. Why did my phone go ping then? I have no idea why it went ping there. It was an absolute spam message. That's uh, why. They just love spammers. <sighs> Doesn't get any better now. We're getting money incoming thick, fast, and uh, all over the place. You love to see it. Four and a half million in the bank. I think it's time to invest in an upgrade, don't you guys? So there we go. We've got a wastegate actuator upgrade. I think that's come from uh, Mercedes themselves. So uh, another big upgrade going into the uh, into the British Grand Prix. But uh, we've got to renew the sponsors. Damn right, we're going to renew that uh, sponsor. And it is time to renew Tatiana's contract. Market value two million. We're approaching them, Here, and we're going to say, the more you, offer, you know what? The You're still the part of this all-female uh, team. Come and have a go, they might and we'll uh, we'll give you uh, we'll give you the car. We'll give you the car, and uh, we'll see. So, free offers. We could either lowball her. Give her a better offer or give her the middle offer, which is what uh, her market value is. So we're going to go with this uh, medium risk one and we'll sit, we'll test the water and see, uh, see what she says. She's declined the middle offer. She may be Colombian, but uh, I've got, uh, I've got uh, feelings about her already. And it's not good. I think we got to wait uh, till the next day to uh, come up with uh, with someone good here. I mean, look at this. There are better options that are better than her, and they're cheaper. So maybe we should uh, maybe we should go after one of these guys and see uh, see if they're uh, doing anything. We will uh, negotiate the contract. But I think we'll do that uh, in the next episode. Keep you all, keep you all in suspense. Does Tatiana stay or will she go? Will we bring in someone else uh, to uh, to better ourselves within uh, within this team? You'll uh, you'll have to wait and find out. But before we do that, let's get some uh, let's get some activities done. So we've got. Uh, well, we've not got a lot to, uh, of room to work with because of the invitational event and uh, this contract renewal. So we're going to go for this sponsor fundraiser in that uh, empty gap there. Makes perfect sense. And then what do we do here? Vehicle PR filming gives us money. Oh, team building. Look at that. 15% on everything. I'll tell you what. I want to do the team. Yeah. Team building. No funded team event. We get resource points. Costs a little bit more as well, but we'll do the funded team away. It's uh, the mix and match uh, of everything, as they say. 25 likes on the video, guys. And do get subscribed for more daily F1 2020 My Team Career Mode, NASCAR Heat 4, Bus Simulator, and whatever we play on the old uh, Sunday. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, guys. We will see you all next time for the British Grand Prix. Till then, bye-bye.